Welcome to Electra Online. For the last several decades, we've had this particular scheme for license plates for automobiles and trucks in California. There were seven characters. The first character was a number. The next three characters were letters and the last three characters were numbers again. And if I remember right, because I don't ever remember seeing it, that this first character cannot be a zero or this first number cannot be a zero and the leading of the three numbers cannot be a zero either. It turns out this scheme was good for a long time, but we ran out of license plate permutations and we had to go to a different scheme and we'll show you what that new scheme is. But let's first calculate how many different permutations there are with this kind of scheme and why did we run out? Okay, let's try this. So again, we use the same equation, the number of permutations of N and R. N is the number of letters or characters we're gonna have. R, of course, is the number that we're dealing with. In this case, we'll have to take it one at a time. And so the following will then become the number of permutations. So the number of permutations is equal to, for the first one, it's going to be uh, P. There's only nine possibilities if we ignore the one, the zero, and there's only one letter to be picked. And so we're going to multiply that times the next three, but we have to take it one at a time. So that would be P, that would be 26 and one, because there's 26 different letters and all of them are permissible. So we have three of those, 26 and one, 26 and 1 and then we have three more numbers but for the first number there's only nine possibilities because we have to ignore zero but for the next two we can have 10 numbers and so that's what the equation is going to look like and so simplify it we can say that this is equal to we have three of these so p 26 1 to the third power we have two of those so that would be p 9 to the second power and then we have two of those which is p 10 and 1 to the second power all right so this becomes equal to 26 cubed i'll put parentheses around it times 9 squared times 10 squared so how many different permutations are there for license plates in California using the scheme that's been good for a long time now? In the older days, there were only six characters on the license plate. And of course, in the very old days, there's fewer than that. But that has been kind of the standard probably for the last 30, 40 years or so, if I remember right. So that gives us 26 raised to the third power times 9 squared, which is 81, times 10 squared, which is 100, and let's see here wow well that gave us a total of 142 million 365 thousand 600 different license plates and for a population of california being somewhere around 40 plus million or so you would think that should last us for a very long time but it didn't we ran out and we had to go to a different scheme well, what was the different scheme? Well, the very first character can now also be a letter. And so that will add a whole number additional permutations. So let's keep that number handy somewhere. So we're going to write that one down. 142,365,600. And let's say you were asked how many more permutations you would have now if you can also allow a letter to exist in the front instead of just a number from one to nine all right let's go ahead and do that on our next video and then you can see how much that changes and we can then guess how many more years we can go with just seven characters on our license plate until we either have to change the scheme again or we may need to add <coughs> excuse me add another character and go to eight characters on the license plate Wow, that seems like a lot of numbers, but it wasn't enough. So let's see how many more we get by changing the scheme and making that first character a letter as well, as well as a number. And that is how it's done. Couldn't they just have flipped the groups of letters and the numbers around? They could have. They could have moved. The, so what they could have done, they could have moved the letters over here and the numbers over here, and that would have do essentially doubled yeah. uh, the number. But they decided not to do that because I think they wanted readability. They're just used to reading it in a certain way. They didn't want to mess that up. So that's probably it. Well, they get desperate enough. <laughs>